This piece is called the rotation pitch because it has the base rotation and it also has the main pitch joint. It is also secured with a collar. The wires are marked on the collar. And when you assemble this, there will be a gap if it's done correctly. If this is upside down, the wires are coming out that side. See, there's no gap there. Additionally, this piece has an extra bearing formed with one of the passive horns, which locates into there on the base. So to assemble this, we first put four screws into these holes. So there are four holes in four screws in those holes. Take a passive horn and cover it over so that it lines up with the holes and you can still access with a number zero screwdriver through those holes. Then you can take one of the large self-tapping screws placed into that hole with a number one secure that servo horn. In this way you can still assemble to the servo in place. Make sure those are pushed down. This now slots on to there. And you can place the four screws in the top. The way to do these is to get two in place, roughly lined up, should be with a number one screwdriver. This technique works quite well. Just get the hole lined up. And if you press that all together, and tighten those down, and then just tighten those up, finger tight. On the underneath, turn at 45 degrees. I mean, you can see that gap where that hole is. You just want to line that up. There you can see as you screw it, it's very thin, the bottom aluminium, but it'll just engage a little. And there's enough free movement in the base, you can now tighten all four of those screws. And as before, just finger tight. So that is the base assembled. The wire is still not yet in place. So now we take our next servo. Again, we look for that edge which matches to that there. Also, there is a slope which tells you which way the wire goes. This wire will go to the near side. Like so. And the next wire will go to the other side. Like so. We can now 
now see where our wires run. Pass through there. Making sure that nothing is trapped. That clips down onto there. And now this wire. Now this wire can be pulled carefully. To this groove here. Like so. Now if we run our search again we're going to see a one and a seven and this one is of course the new servo. We can move around so we follow the same procedure. Set this to 2047. Come up on the programming tab, select servo one, change the ID down here to two. And hit save. If it works, you'll get a little acknowledgement. And now up here, it's gonna say ID two come down to the position offset value, change this to 1024. You should hear the servo move, we come back to debug. We can now take our next horn, place it on, Square, push it down, take a screw, fasten that down. 